ashes Hi guys, it is Marsha Gauntlet Kirby and welcome back to Brownface TV. First, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope you guys are doing well. This is my first video of 2022 and I'm so excited. Um, I am going to talk about my favorite products of 2021. Um, look, it feels like I have a, a lot, but it's I don't think it is a lot. Um, some of the products I started using late, like December 2020, um, and then I use them for a full year, so I know that I love them and I will uh, continue to purchase them. I put up two skincare videos. I put up a daytime routine and a nighttime routine for fall. Uh, I believe that these two were included. They are two products from Biosense, uh, the Squalene, Biosense Squalene Omega Repair Cream and the Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil, which you can see is like all the way down to the bottom and this was a pretty big bottle of oil. And I do have other oils that I use, but this one, this was mainly for day. I do use it at night sometimes. These, yeah, these are my babies, my loves. This uh, Squalene Omega Repair Cream is so thick and rich. I did speak about my skin. I, mean, I am aging, as we all are, but um, I'm in my 40s, and in the summertime, my skin is um, normal, uh, normal oily. In the wintertime, it's it's normal to dry more dry so i really have to pay extra attention um because it'll start to flake um but this cream is so hydrating uh almost as hydrating as so eucerin is what i use for any skin issues when i'm extremely dry from having skin issues and this comes second uh to eucerin it is I guess we'll say pricey well not as pricey as some but 58 dollars. but i did get it on discount i find it if you go to the site the bias on site and sign up you get I got this for 30% off so I think that makes a big difference and they do offer free shipping the same with the oil that oil is a little bit more is it more expensive maybe around the same price point but these really got me through to 2021 I bought this before this was I think it was on the recommendation of Monroe still a couple of years ago I bought it and returned it and then I, I, I don't know what happened I decided to try it again um, during the summer is weird because this is extremely moisturizing during the summer and I love this thing and this is going to be part of yeah part of my arsenal this is this super goop super goop super screen a daily moisturizer with an SPF of 40 if you want that protection but you also want that glow honey okay and I got this probably I got this mid-august and I, I've I've used a lot and it's a nice size container um, this is I think this gives you I think there's like a 12 month um, expiration so I still have time I'll, I'll probably be finished way before then and I am going to invest in some more super goop products there's some things that I'm interested in but um, I, I think my next video is going to be new products for 2020 did I say 20? Did I say 2022? Anyway, this is. I think it's a wonderful product. Um, I. I mean, I can. I can speak because I'm. I can speak for someone in their 40s. If you want that a youthful look with the protection, please go out and get this. You just have this glow, and your skin looks moisturized and beautiful. Love this stuff. All right, next up is the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. I started using this early 2021 um i got this during this actually no i'm lying i got a sample i think the 100 uh, point perks uh 100 point perks so i got a sample of it and i really enjoyed it it is an exfoliator but the granules in this are so light that you don't even feel it but then when you wash your face you just it's almost like you see everything just like a fresh layer of skin so this is my second bottle and i didn't buy i, I can see it here through the it's, it's down to here i didn't um um, invest in the larger one because this one got me through this is a six month supply not six month supply it expires after six months I use this about once or twice a week so if um, you want a very gentle exfoliator I would definitely invest in this I think this one runs about $20 but everything will be in the description box okay so I was very consistent with these products from the inky list last year I love these these will right now be in my arsenal going forward uh, vitamin B C and E moisturizer and uh, this retinol I was using a more expensive retinol from Biosense. it was the 
samples. You can pay $7 and get some nice size samples from Biasant, and I was using those, and I do really like it, but if you're looking for something that's, um, effective, but also inexpensive, this bottle is only, I think it's like $9.99, and, um, it's small, uh, this is a six-month supply, but this is just so gentle on the skin and you can see the difference in your skin after using this. This is Bay right here, this vitamin B, C and E moisturizer. I use this as my only moisturizer in the summer. During the winter I will layer this with uh, some type of uh, sunscreen in the daytime. I usually use a, a heavier moisturizer but when I, because I, I love the way this makes my skin feel so when I do use it in the daytime, I'll layer it with a heavier moisturizer or with sunscreen um, to give me that very moisturized look. All right, for oils, uh, this one I started using last year. I want to say, I'm going to say around the March mark, maybe second quarter. Second quarter, this is from the Ordinary Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I do use the Squalane oil from this brand, and the Squalane is very light um, and I wanted something a little thicker that I could use at night or in the daytime for in the winter time to just really maximize the moisture of um, mo ma maximize the moisture in my skin or when I add it to when I add it to different um, products yeah this is really good it's thicker than squalane but still light if that makes any sense still a light um, oil I don't know if I can this way. I don't know if you can see the color. You see the color? It's very look at that. Very you can see. So this is another product that really got me through 20. This is my second bottle I just repurchased. So this is another product that got me through 2021. Alright, this product I fell in love with. It's my umpteenth package, and I didn't even realize I was down to my last one last night and I used it. But this is the Clean Skin Club Clean Wipes. I did mention this in um, my um, full routine uh, videos. I actually first invested in, no I didn't, it was at the same time. I invested in these and then I also bought the towelettes and these, I do like the towelettes but these really stuck with me. I love uh, face wipes, I like sometimes, I, when I'm removing my makeup I just don't always do that whole double cleanse. I like to take a, a cloth uh, and wipe off all of that and then go in and wash and these are huge. I don't have it, I just actually purchased some more on um, Amazon, I was buying this through the site, but I, I, I really needed some, so I purchased it on Amazon, and I'll go back uh, a few days later. I'll go back probably in the week or something like that and purchase it from the actual website. This is two halves of paper towel, and it's as big as this. Of course, no um, design. Um, these cover, like like I said, these cover your whole face, and they stay very, they stay really, really wet. And they're really good for those lazy nights as well. Like, you know, those lazy nights, you just, sometimes you just don't get to washing your face. You could just clean it off with these wipes and go about your business, honey. Now on to makeup. I don't have a lot of products for makeup because uh, um, I wasn't doing too, too much. But um, let's see, I started to go back to my office. When I was here, I would get dressed. I would beat my face a little bit, but... Um, I started to go back into the office during the summer, the early part of the summer, so I was beating my face more often. And when I did, I was using NARS, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is, okay, so I got this early last year. This is, um, it expires 24 months, so I have another year to go with this. This, please don't use this in the winter time. Don't do it, unless you have extremely oily skin throughout the year. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So that's, I put a hold on this for now because it is, to me, it says soft matte, but it's extremely matte. If I was going to use this, I would drop a bit of uh, oil, um, maybe one or two drops of oil in it. And I would also use this sunscreen um, before I use this because this is very, very moisturizing. And if you want like a, a, a little bit of a glow, because this to me is not going to give you a glow. I have combination skin, it can either go dry or oily, and yeah, once the winter hit, yeah, this is a no. Again, unless I'm going to mix it with uh, an oil. If you have oily skin, please invest, okay? Oh, I am in the color Macau and NARS across the board. Next up, foundation, you guys know, LYS, it is black owned, it is a clean, um, LYS is a clean skincare brand, and I was so happy to 
um, for the first time try a clean foundation. This I use, I, I got this last April and I used it in April. I really enjoyed it, but once the summertime hit, I did use it a bit. But this foundation, um, cause I have foundations for different times of the year. This foundation to me cannot be, it, I don't want to say it cannot be used in the summertime. If you have dry skin, you are welcome to do that. If you have, if you're like me, combination, oily, yeah, you're going to have to really prep your skin, um, in order to reduce, reduce the oiliness, the greasiness, I guess, the greasiness, I, I don't know, but this is, it's a triple fix, LYS triple fix serum foundation, but this is just wonderful, and I love the range of colors and the matches, I am color, the color DG6, perfect match, I can also wear the, I think it's DG7, um, so I love the fact that there's so many colors to match, um, with, uh, brown or darker skin, but this, and look at the bottle, this is, this was only like a $20 bottle and I got it for cheaper. And look at this. This is this is beautiful. All right. This came in close to the end of the year, but this is Bay. Once I got this in November, it was on and popping. This was all I was using. Um, Sephora, best skin ever. This, I don't even understand where I was, what I was doing with my life before this foundation. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I don't even know. But I've spoken about it in previous videos. This is just, this was $20. It's $20 on a regular. It's, ooh, it's dirty because I've, I've been using it. $20 and um, I got it on discount. So it came up to $14. This is just, if you want a, I, don't, I think a very light natural coverage and something that matches. This, I don't know about anyone else, but 44Y is like the perfect match. When I put it on, you can't even tell. Like my husband sometimes can tell when I have on foundation. Um, and this, he was like, do you have something on your skin? This, this, okay. Okay, I just want to give a mention. I didn't have time to really, I use it a few times, but I can't, I, I what I can say about this, um, I'm going to include it in the favorites only because it gave me light, those days when I just wanted to look like I tried, um, but my face wasn't overly done up, was this Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop. It was very, the reason why um, I haven't used it that much is, is because it took me so long to get, it was always sold out. So I didn't get this until the beginning of summer. And because I was using some of the other products, I didn't get time, I didn't have time to really use this. but. When I used it, I did um, enjoy it. I just love the fact you could just throw it on, like coverage, put on a little bit of lipstick or some gloss, do your eyebrows, your eyeliner, and get out the door. Smashbox Halo uh, Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I uh, purchased this during, it was I think during the spring. I wanted something that would um, be protective but also have coverage and give me a little bit of a glow. This has, it's not that much SPF, SPF 25. I, I like this product because of the various colors that they have and it gives you more, a little bit more coverage than the Fenty Beauty and this one has um, uh, SPF, but I still have to, I'm still going to work on this one, trying this one, but this one I really used during, um, last year, this halo, and I am the color tan dark, and there was another color that I can also potentially use. I appreciated the fact that there was a good, uh, range of colors within this, um, uh, within this tinted moisturizer line. Last but not least in makeup, uh, are these, I'm going to show you, I have two different ones. I found out about these at the makeup show years ago, but I haven't been going because, well, last year I think it was, 2020 was canceled. I didn't go last year. And anyway, so I found out about these. I had bought them. They were very cheap at the makeup show. And I was like, whatever happened to that brand? And I saw that they had a website and I purchased from the website. And they are these Mora, is that how you say it? Mora Beauty, um lip pencils so matte lip pencils which to me are comparable and that's why i bought them uh two three years ago when i first invested because they reminded me of the nars lip pencil which i still love i have a whole bunch of these um nars lip pencil um so i think for each nars lip pencil you can find a similar color to mora the only thing about these these are only like five dollars five dollars seven dollars and they they always give a discount and it's only like three dollars ship, not, maybe not even three dollars in shipping. I think ninety eight cents or a dollar. I forgot how much the shipping is, but the one thing with these I noticed, as opposed to the Nars, these dry out pretty quickly. That's probably why they are seven dollars. But 
even still, the color payoff is beautiful. Let me see if I can get one of my favorite colors is, what is this? Um, After Party. Look at that. OMG. For five, or I think it's five, either five or six, seven, between five and seven dollars, I think for the price, you really can't beat that. You just have to, after a while, they do dry out. I don't even know what the um, time frame to use this is. For NARS, it's two years. After a year, they just, they, they really dried out. But I, these are the only really products, other than the ones that I already have in my arsenal, the mainstays, these are the ones I invested in last year, and I'm, I'm so in love with these. In my outfit of the week's videos, I mention these a lot because they're just so easy, grab and go, um, and then the color payoff is really, really good. All right, body care. I only have two products, and they're from the same place. Um, Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Um, I know we all used to shop at the body shop, but I, we, we stopped going there. The, the, the prices stopped going there for like years now. Um, and I started to use Shea Moisture, but I'm not sure what happened to Shea Moisture. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped using that. But anyway, this was about, what, $6 from Trader Joe's, and this is very thick and creamy, and this was a favorite product of mine of the year. I use it on myself. I use it on my girls. So yeah, this one is the Coconut Body Butter. They do have another scent. I just don't know what that was because I've just been using this one. And then this one, it's it's messy at the top because it's been in my shower. This is the Lavender Salt Scrub. This, let me see if I can open it. It's all the way down. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this, listen. If you want some moisturized skin, and this is, I love the smell of lavender. Lavender is one of my favorite scents. Especially at night, it's just, I don't know. I don't, it's supposed to be calming. I guess maybe it is calming, but I just, just this, I just really love the smell. Um, And this was about, I don't know if it was $8. It, it definitely was under 10 This was recommended by, oh my God. I can never remember anybody's name when I get on here. Um, I'll put it on the screen, but she recommended it because she's always glowing. This scrub will have your skin all the way just smooth and moisturized and smelling just um, just wonderful before bedtime. Yeah, my husband loves it when it's when I use this. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, hair products. There are, I don't think, there's one new line I'm going to talk about, but I think it was all about rediscovery for me. Okay, Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner. I remember loving this stuff, and I'm not sure why I put it down. I think it was that it's not as easy to get anymore. I had to get this one off of um, Amazon, and I should have bought the three-pack, because this is already down to here. I use this on my hair and my um, oldest daughter's hair. The slip, the moisture is just amazing, and it's a little bit more pricey now. Um, when I started to buy this years ago, it was only about five, maybe eight, and I think it's gone up. I think I paid about ten dollars. I think maybe eleven for this bottle, but it's really, really good. Comet Biologics is one of the is one of the first lines that I use when I went natural, and that has really moisturized my hair. This stays in my arsenal, so we just re up. This is a brand new bottle because we just finished one. This is the Omla, the Omla and Olive Heavy Cream, which we use now um, when it's colder. But we rediscovered that we rediscovered the Burdock Root Butter Cream, which works better for our hair. And I'm speaking of me and my oldest daughter um, because our hair is like the same, uh, almost the same texture. The little one, her hair is just uh, she has a looser, uh, looser, looser curl pattern. Uh, and I'm still using more, um, I was going to say children, child products, children, child, ooh, baby products in her hair. Anyway, okay, for the first time ever, my battery died, and the light is going down because it is um, daylight saving time, so let me try to get through this. Uh, where was I? So I reinvested in the Burdock Root Buttercream, and we love this. Look at this, all the way down at the bottom this summer. Uh, and this, these things last a long time because they're pretty rich and pretty thick. All right, something that I will stay in my arsenal as well is this Carl Smith Multitasking Conditioner. Oh my God, I really enjoy this. So, and the smell is just, um, I, I really like, it's very sweet. This is a three-in-one conditioner for damaged hair, leave-in, rinse-out, or deep condition. I leave it, I use it as a deep conditioner and it really moisturized my hair and also um, it had slip. Um, so I will continue to use this, use this up. What happened, the reason why, I'm going to show you. There's still a good bit in here, and there's hair in here. What dethroned the, um, Curlsmith product? 
was Camille Rose. I invested in these last year because, you know, we've heard a lot of, in the natural community, a lot about Camille Rose. Um, I did get these through, I think it was Ulta. They had, I think it was either buy one, get one free, or I had, a, it was an on serious discount. Let's just say that. I did invest in the Almond Jai uh, Twisting Butter, which I do have. Four years ago, this is before, right before I had my daughter, and for some reason I didn't like it. I guess I didn't know how to use it, but I have used it multiple times since I reinvested. But this Algae Renew uh, Deep Conditioning Mask, honey. Listen, if you want slip, if you want moisture, pliability, is that a word? Yes, pliability, my hair is... The different textures for I have a mix of 4B, 4A, probably some 4C in there as well. If you want that, I would suggest investing in this. And then for the moisture, the curl of moisture milk, it is down to um, here. I have other products that I use. Um, I have something. I have some by Miel. Um, I do prefer this one. Uh, yeah, and I, I got these during the summertime and I've already used this much. I've, I've really been enjoying these products. This Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. Yeah, I think if I had to choose one product from the... No, I couldn't do that. But this is really good. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is really good. And it, it I've used this in my hair and my daughter's hair. My daughter's hair is very, very thick. Um, so, and this has, look at this, we still have a good amount left. All right, for the last hair product slash tool, and I'm going to show you pictures. Um, I was using the one by Revlon before, but that one was good, but it got so hot, you can't even, you can't even hold it. You have to hold, like, the tip. So, I invested in this one, and this is Infinity Pro Conair, and it is the blow dry brush. Guys, get you, please, get this for yourself. Get this for your your daughters. Get this for whoever needs to blow dry their hair. Um, this this wow. I, I keep saying this because I don't I don't even know what to say. I wish I had invested in this one first. And it's funny because this one popped up. I was using the one by Revlon, and this one popped up months. Okay, I got the one from Revlon in 2020. Was using that. Um, sparingly because like I said right here it gets so hot you can't even hold it and my daughter has a lot of hair which I'll show you on the screen um, the last blow dry session this made it so easy for me and myself and my hair is blow dried and twisted up under this fabulous wig but anyway um, I used this on my daughter's hair before she went in before we got her knotless braids and this right here guys I think it was comparable in price to the Revlon, but I really wish I would have known about this one first. Um, I wouldn't have invested in the Revlon product. But anyway, those are my favorite purchases for 2021. Please let me know what were yours. Um, leave the comments down. Leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye, guys.